Hey everyone. I just want to make this quick video. So, a lot of people are, I guess, complaining about how difficult it is to make money on the marketplace. Or maybe not the marketplace, but in general. They'll do... They'll do uh, dungeon runs, and they'll do a lot of fates, and they make this 300 gil there, and this 500 gil there. And it's not really adding up to allowing them to just buy anything they want without having to go grind. Well, people don't take any effort into examining the marketplace, into examining costs from NPC versus cost of the marketplace. Uh, they don't look into seeing how much effort it would take to work on crafting. I mean, this is supposed to be like a digital simulation of a fictitious world, and everyone is supposed to be acting in together to make it seem like this sort of somewhat real thing and having a marketplace and having to put effort into obtaining uh, certain things in the game is what gives it that that pseudo realistic feel so there's a very important purpose in money and just because you run a few dungeons and do a few of these fate quests doesn't mean you should automatically have enough money to be able to do anything you want Otherwise, it would completely destroy the entire purpose of having money at all, or having merchants. Why not just automatically give you everything you want at that point, if you don't have to work for anything? So, a lot of people complain about not being able to make enough money, but then there's also plenty of people who just don't put any effort into anything. No research at all. I'm talking about not even five or ten minutes. They just go up to the market board and go, hey, that's what I need. They look at the price and they say, I can afford that right at this second. And then they buy it. I want to give you an example of how bad this is. Here's a merchant, a uh, tradecraft mer merchant. A market board where we can see prices and such. And uh, about 10 feet away is the summoning bell where we summon our retainers to sell items on the marketplace. Now. Let me go to this Tradecraft Merchant, and I'll show you... Okay, they sell a lot of Tradecraft-related items, if you have a Tradecraft. This might be a merchant you come to to purchase some of your items, if you don't mine them yourself. One of these items is Ragstone. You can take Ragstone, okay, the price is two gil for each Ragstone. Now, if I don't go mine that myself, which, you know, I might not. Two gil isn't too terrible. I could buy a stack of that for 198 gil. 198 kill for a stack of ragstone. Gives me 99 ragstone. So, uh... What would happen if I tried to purchase it off of the marketplace? Okay, I'll go to see what ragstone is. Oh! 14 gil each. Well, gosh, that's seven times the price from this retainer, or the, uh, tradecraft merchant over there. And uh, that, that doesn't even include the tax that they charge. And, oh, this is an item that sells many stacks every day. Well, maybe not stacks, but it sells many every day. So it's not like an item that just sits there. So maybe... I'll come over here to this summoning bell, and, uh... Just sell this stack of ragstone. Along with all this other ragstone that I was selling. Oh, not for 99 each. That's silly. 14 each. And... I will make... 7 times what I paid for it. And th this isn't even close to the only item like this. This is just what I saw that was like, wow, look at that markup. From this short of a distance, I made almost no effort in walking from one point to the next. But if, if we looked around at all of these different merchants and compared them to the prices that I paid for them, it's absolutely nuts. There are Diramite web quests for a level 15 weaver. Oh, actually, I think you can get the... Maybe you can get those, uh... They're, they're leaves. Anyways. 
some of these leaves allow you to repeat them three times before you before the leave is considered completed. So there's this one that gives you ten diamite web. And you can repeat it three times before it even uses up one of your allowances. It's uh well actually I don't have it right now, but I, I, I'd have to show. I'd have to go up to a, one of the Leaf Quest people and, and actually show it. But that would give you 30 Diarmite Web for completing that one Leaf. Now let's see how much Diarmite Web is worth. And think about this. This only takes, you know, less than five minutes to do this Leaf. And you get 30 of these. Now each one of these, each one is worth... Uh, 350 to 400 or more. Sometimes it's it, it's up at 500. But these are just small amounts. These are these aren't stacks. And sometimes people want stacks. So what's the first full stack? It's at 850. If you wanted to buy a full stack, just outright, it would be 850 right now. And 850 per. So I mean for a five minute leave that gives you 30 web and then there's another leave that where you only have to make a single item so that's less than a minute and that gives you another 10 that's 40 diamite web in almost an instant and each one of those sells for hundreds of gil each so people just do zero research and have zero credibility if they say that they can't make any money in this game I'm, I'm talking about personal stuff not not that argument everyone's having on the forums about how there's more money going out than there's coming in when they have absolutely no evidence to support that theory when there's absolutely no hard numbers. But uh, that, that's a debate for another time. Anyways, I just thought I'd make this point and encourage people to do a little bit of research and you'll find a lot of great ways to make money off of other people's uh, laziness. Have a great day.